Well, good morning, Good Samaritan Society. My name is Chaplain Philip Johnson, and I am the chaplain here at Lake Forest Village here with our morning devotion. Since our sermon yesterday was on our Old Testament passage out of 2 Samuel, and since this week is a week with Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we decided to do things a little bit differently this week. So on Monday, we have our psalm reading from the lectionary text, which is Psalm 89, 1 through 4, and 19 through 26. Let me read that for us. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. My faithful love will be with him, and through my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. He will call out to me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. A few notes on this passage. So, in the second half, we see a direct reference to David. And yesterday, we talked about this promise that God had made to David, that he would um, build a house for David, and that he would, hit, he would put David on uh, the throne. A, a descendant of David would be on the throne forever. Now, no earthly kingdom exists forever, um, but the kingdom he is referring to is the kingdom of heaven in which Jesus Christ is the ruler who sits on the throne. Um, and Jesus Christ is a descendant of David. And so this is a fulfillment of the promise that God is making to David, uh, that someone from his line would be on the throne forever. It's interesting to see the relationship between David and God here even in this psalm that once God makes this promise, it's not that he sends David on his way, but there is a, a deep, committed relationship in which David is dependent upon God. Um, he says, he will call out to me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. David uh, isn't so foolish as to think that he can be independent once he has received this blessing from God. He is reliant upon God for everything moving forward. But I also really like the first few verses of this passage. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known. You have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. Uh, I've always been a fan of the phrase, the proof is in the pudding. Which in essence is to say that if the pudding is good, it will taste good. The proof of the pudding being good is in the actual eating of the pudding. And so when the author is making these statements, I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known. Uh, you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself that the author has experienced the Lord's great love. He has experienced the Lord's faithfulness. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the author's experience of God. My prayer for us this morning is that you are able to experience the love and faithfulness of God in your own life. Let me pray for us. Dear God, may you help us to experience you more fully. Your love, your faithfulness, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Have a good day today.